there guys there's an island called Oak and I again Oak Island <laughs> Oak Island and let's get a treasure on that island apparently a big one so if you watch a TV show called The Curse of Oak and I again Oak Island <laughs> The Curse of Oak Island it's hard to say <laughs> um, this is where it's filmed uh, this is where they're looking for treasure so it is a big TV show it's been going on for several years it's been years that I used to watch it I think the first year or two that they were doing it um, so yeah there's a big treasure and two brothers purchase the island and they're trying to find out where the treasure is dig hole and try to find clue they already find a bunch of stuff I'm gonna leave the link for the actual TV show that it is uh, but I don't know if they are filming, but they are turning people around and on the uh, online it said that the little presentation show is closed. Uh, so I'm just going to turn around here. I know we cannot like visit the actual island and I know we cannot visit the actual island and I don't think we can really see anything because it obviously is just an island when they dig hole <laughs> to try to find treasure but this is actually where it's happening so I hope I don't have any flat tire of my light that showed that uh, one of my tires is getting low so hopefully it's just uh, false signal or I just have a little bit of I have to put a little bit of hair on that tar hopefully I don't have a flat tar Yeah, they all look good. I don't want to hear anything, so let's see what's going on. This one's perfect. In person just stopped to see if I was okay. I didn't even have time to check all my tires. Someone stopped. <laughs> That's awesome. So I think it's a false signal. I had that a couple times last summer. Uh, after a bumpy road which we had a bunch uh, and I had that light flashing so yeah I do have a sensor that say if my tire pressure change if I have too much pressure or if I have a low pressure so they are on the higher side uh, last time it's the guy at the oil change that put a little bit of hair on my tire and probably put a little bit too I mean he, he probably put what it was supposed to but sometime with you know different like change the temperature it kind of like increase the air or decrease a little bit uh, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it maybe in the next town at a gas station I'm gonna reduce the air if it's still flashing or something like this but we don't seem to have a flat tire which is awesome and thank you people in Nova Scotia <laughs> to stop I don't even have time to check all my tire if they're okay and someone stopped right away <laughs> that's awesome uh, I'm almost East Coast, seriously guys, you are awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have, if we still... So the light's still flashing. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, see if it's gonna come up, but we seem to be okay. No flat tire. <laughs> I do have a, a little uh, kit to put air in my tire. Um, so if I do have a flat tire, I can put extra air. And I do have some plug if I do actually have a um, flat tire to fix it. And I also have, uh, it's called BCA, it's a roads assistant. So I have those three options if I'm in trouble and people in Nova Scotia stop right away. <laughs> those two can help me. But yeah, I think it's just a false, false signal. Uh, maybe I will have to have that check. It's not a big deal. But it's kind of nice to be honest. It's the first vehicle that I do have this, and I must say I love it because I don't really have to pay too much attention to my pressure on my tire, which is maybe bad. But uh, this gonna tell me if something's going on, and he did.
I've been driving a little bit, the light is still on, so I'm gonna remove a little bit of air. It was 5 psi on each tire, like more than it was supposed to, so I think it might be the reason why I have a light on, so I'm gonna remove the air. So we got three church right beside each other. This first one, the second one, <laughs> third one. Oh my goodness. What's going on? How cute it is that town. I am in the uh, town called I'm gonna put on the screen. <laughs> my my home bay? My home bay, I think. Uh, and I'm gonna go visit, it seems to be super cute. don't know one of the thing uh, that I wanted to do when I was younger is to live on a sailboat. I said that a couple of times people think you know like oh you can still do it. Yes I can still do it. It's not that point. It's the point that I used to dream about that and now that I have a better understanding of like what it is to be on the boat and everything that needs to be taken care of and the fact that you can only travel by boat and not having a car unless you have a car in the parking lot somewhere uh, make me kind of like you know I will I don't know I love to be by the ocean I love to be on the sailboat this is one of the times that I feel maybe the happiest is be on the sailboat to be quite honest but to live on it it's a different story maybe one day I'm gonna own a boat let's we'll start from that <laughs> but I don't know about living on the low platform for. Yeah, you cannot really move from there. So I don't think I'm gonna like it. It's cute though. So I saw those a couple of times in this town. So you think it's to pay your parking. But they said to just give money and this is the charity that you this is the charity that you give to. You just have to put a couple of change. I like that idea. So another one like this, this one support the food bank. I really love the idea, I think more towns should do something like this, it's super nice. Alright, back in the van. Um, I wanted to address one thing, because uh, I see that, uh, I saw that a couple of comments and it's all good. A lot of people are asking, where's Chrome? Where is Chrome? Uh, where's my boyfriend? Um, First of all, I totally get it that some of you wonder is everything's all right and you know all those things everything's all right no worries. Uh, it's just sometimes we have like different things to do like today Chrome has something to do a little bit outside of town so he's doing that right now and I'm just traveling a little bit by myself. We're gonna meet uh, probably tonight. Kelly want to say hi? Want to say hi? Ooh, yeah. Uh, so this is why sometimes we have like a little video with just me uh, and sometimes you like you're just gonna see Chrome like you know coming at the end of a video or something uh, because yeah sometimes it's just all uh, things go uh, when he's got when he had like some repair to do on his van he went on his own own and I went in the back country and sometimes you know I failed to go in the back country he failed to visit a uh, big city and we're just gonna meet after that so uh, I just wanted to clarify that uh, you're not gonna see Chrome in every video sorry <laughs> uh, if you want to see my boyfriend uh, you have to go on his channel Van City Van Life uh, but yeah so 
I just want to mention that. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. We're just going to chill here on this beautiful town. It was gorgeous. I didn't expect that. Apparently, it's got a lot more of those super charming little towns around this area. So, um, stay tuned for the next video. We might visit another one. Uh, I'm going to let you with Kelly, obviously. Because, did you saw Kelly today? Kelly, did I saw you? I'm not gonna post a video without what are you eating. A little piece of wood. Do you wanna give a kiss? Aww, that's so nice. You know people ask for your kiss at the end of the video. Sometimes they like kinda didn't give us a kiss. But you've been pretty good with it. You wanna play now? Are you gonna be a monster? You know, Kitty, you look like super sweet on camera all the time. Oh, 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 there you go, there you go, typical cat. Love, but not too much love. Play, play rough. There, there you go. There you go. She doesn't bite very hard though. She just wanna play. Alright, guys, see you in the next one. Oop. Maybe that's why you bite me sometime by bothering you. <laughs>